We're at the city's oldest institution of higher learning and the only historically black college or university. Now for years, Houston Tillotson has poured so many resources into this community and then the pandemic hit and a shift began. 145 years of history right here on Blue Bonnet Hill. Baseball legend Jackie Robinson was a Samuel Houston college instructor, basketball coach and athletic director. That was just a few years before the school merged with Tillotson College, becoming HT. Since that time, the school has awarded thousands of degrees, producing politicians, scientists, authors and even a treasurer of the United States. That legacy continues with computer science major Joseph Mupande, who's entering the Navy. He's the current Mr. HT, tasked with representing the university throughout the year. HT is really a family oriented school. Like every, it's a family. Like you just know everybody. When that in-person aspect was taken away, it just, it really changed. Empty sidewalks and classrooms tell the story of a much different life on campus since all students are virtual. Fortunately, there were no COVID-19 cases on campus. The challenges were off campus, access to resources, computers, Wi-Fi and connectivity. We got sent tablets. We some students got Wi-Fi vouchers if they didn't have access to Wi-Fi. Seniors like Safana Velji, a tutor, lead resident assistant, captain of the women's soccer team, saw just how devastating the impact of COVID-19 was on all students. So she launched a scholarship to help seniors with graduation fees. I wanted to make sure that when you are receiving the scholarship, you know that you should come back, try and support HG because they've supported all of us for a very long time, especially during a global pandemic affecting black and brown students and their families at a disproportionate rate. It's also threatening the sustainability of historically black colleges and universities around the country, many of which have been completely virtual since the start of the pandemic. By making the decision to go virtual, and this is why it was such a hard decision, we automatically lose $1.6 million for a semester from the revenues that we would have gotten from our revenue from our residence halls and the cafeteria. The university received CARES Act funding, but it didn't cover all the expenses. HT's president, Dr. Colette Pierce Burnett, cut expenses without cutting staff and launched a COVID-19 support fund. And now the university that poured so much into the community of East Austin and beyond was getting a little help. Individuals, banks, churches, and graduates stepped up, paying balances for students and removing barriers to success. Their role as educated people is to now go sit in those seats where the decisions are made so that they can be a part of change and be a part of um, moving that moral arc towards justice. Helping students like Joseph and Safana continue a rich legacy of Houston Tillotson University.